So most of the time, if you tell a customer, I've got here like a 32 to 35 foot travel trailer, depending on how you want to measure it, box versus total length. Um, big living room super slide and dual opposing bunkhouse slide outs. This thing can sleep, let's see, six, 10, 12 people. And it can do all that under 6,600 pounds. Most of the time, people are gonna just call you a liar. But that's because most of the time, you're not talking about the Passport 3290 bunkhouse here at Halet RV of Goldwater, Michigan. This is a big lightweight. And that's what's the best part about it. It is made large. But the larger an RV gets, the more glaring the benefit of the ultralight build concept becomes. So what you end up with here is, uh, you know, the greatest return on ultralight investment, effectively. Um, the larger an RV gets, the more uh, that all aluminum skeleton, those very lightweight, very rugged galvanized steel roof trusses come into play, which are all part of the reason this has a three-year structural warranty, by the way. The, uh, the larger it gets, the more um, impacting that uh, lighter but stronger Huckbolt uh, aircraft style chassis becomes. This is a lighter but stronger chassis. All of that stuff only increases in effect the larger an RV gets. So a big triple slide bunkhouse like this, it has a huge impact. Um, to give you an idea, an equivalent floor plan from a conventionally stick built brand that we also carry here, well the, uh, what is it, the 33RB TSJ flight that we carry here at Halet RV. If, if weight's not a concern, that's fine, but that thing easily easily weighs like 30 or 83 to 8400 pounds. Well, this is dramatically lighter. 6600 pounds puts you very comfortably in the half ton towable market. So if you need a big ha uh, bunkhouse, but you have a half ton pickup, pow! This is the brand. Passport is the brand you really want to be looking at. That's why I'm very fortunate to be able to offer them here at Halet RV. We carry different lightweights. You know, we've got Coachman's and Winnebago's and everybody else in Rockwood's. And it's like almost everybody else has stopped building this floor plan. And I think it's because, it's not because it's not popular. This is a very popular floor plan. It's one of our best selling passports. I think it's just that other brands can't compete with this one because it's so light. And it's so price effective because this comes in literally less money than some of my stick built trailers that they just they gave up and I think they just pulled into other markets. So you've got room here for double batteries because you are solar prepped. If you uh, decide to add a solar uh, um, kit to this trailer, which we have available here at our Halet RV Parts and Service Center, this is all set to accommodate that. You saw that very large full pass-through storage. It doesn't get thinner on one side. It's a consistent full width pass-through all the way through. Double-sided welded frame. A lot of manufacturers on horizontal welds, uh, they'll, they'll weld twice, but on a vertical weld, which is half of the welds in your camper, they only do once. So there's just literally more stuff holding this trailer together, more welding, more structure, more support, which is probably one of the reasons why Passports are really keystones in general have had some of the very supreme service records here at our uh, facility. We do have an enclosed forced air heated underbelly with a class leading uh, 30,000 BTU furnace, very large furnace for something like this. Now, when we look down here, you see the wide stance stability axles. Again, this is a long trailer and when it comes to towing, something uh, it seems like everyone always goes, well, my truck can tow this much, or maybe my big SUV, like my big Tahoe or my Escalade or whatever, it can tow this many dollar or <laughs> this many pounds. But they don't ever consider trailer length versus vehicle wheelbase. That's one of those advantages to working with us here at Halet RV. We have that extra towing knowledge to make sure you stay safe. Those wide stance stability axles mean everything on a big long camper like this. They help prevent that wiggle, that sway, they help prevent the bounce up and down when you're going down the road. Our delivery drivers on brands uh, that have that wide stance axle system, and I mean we see it commonly on the, the Passports, the Freedom Expresses by Coachman, the White Hawks by Jayco that we carry here at Halet RV. They remark all the time, this is a nice towing little camper. It's true. So here you get to see that double deep slide, their aircraft um, cable driven slides, which is the least warranted thing down there, as well as the lightest slide system in the business. So not only does it work the best, it's also lighter. It's not the cheapest slide system. That's what I really like about Passport. This is the smart money product. If what you're looking for is a extreme low maintenance, high reliability, big family bunkhouse that you can have for 5, 10, 15, 12 years, whatever, then swap out to get the couples camp in Cougar, Montana, whatever we have here at Halet RV of your dreams. Well, 
this this is the brand this this brand gets that done now we're backup camera prepped again that's something we can easily fulfill for you here at halid rv's parts and service center but you don't have to spend the money on adding a grill because those are standard on a passport grand touring or elite you always have either a rear bumper grill or an outside kitchen. Since this doesn't have an outside kitchen, which gives you more sleeping space, by the way, you get uh, the outside cooking space. Now, one of the other things I like about this, like uh, other triple slide bunkhouses usually have a slide dead in the middle of the door side of the camper, which absolutely wrecks your patio space. It just, it just wrecks your patio space. Now we don't have that. We still have that big awning, LED lit, easy tilt. And here you have all that room uh, to, to put whatever you want, picnic table, lawn chairs, anything. You know, you don't have to fight for space in this one. Bigger entry handle, the stuff that makes sense, the stuff that needs to be there, it's all there. Like there's different steps out in the market and they're neat, but you know what? They don't help you walk in and out of your camper any easier, better than this. These old traditional steel steps, you know what guys, they still work just fine. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's the Passport motto. What this brand does is they spend money where it needs to be spent. There's, if there's a simpler solution that is equally effective, they're gonna use it. Can you spend more money on a big fancy looking step system? Sure, it's not gonna work any better. So the uh, entry door is strutted so that it doesn't open past 90 degrees. And that's important because your awning's right here. Again, long-term ownership. They've eliminated the potential of this door swinging open or the kids flinging the door open or the wind catching it and smacking your awning sideways. If the awning buckles sideways, it's done. Throw it away. It's toast. Stepping inside here, there are different interior decors. And it will look a little bit darker than normal right now for two reasons. One, this is the dark granite decor, which is more popular in bunkhouses because the darker colors tend to um, hold up and not show wear and tear as much. But also, I've got our huge windows. That's one thing Passport does uh, very well. They spend a lot of money on maximum size windows and they are slide open window panes. This floor plan gets extremely good airflow between the extra vent up top and the very large kitchen breeze window. This floor plan gets great airflow. However, with the morning sun billowing light in through those uh, right there, I was having trouble with the camera. But notice, even with just the LED lights on the inside, it's very comfortable in here. We still have enough light coming through those shades, even with the night shades drawn. It's it's very nice and comfortable in here. It does a great job. They spend the money where it needs to be spent. All LED lights is another thing. Some brands, for price point reasons, they might give you LED cabin lights, but your off lights, like in your slide, they tend to be incandescent still to save a couple bucks. Not a passport. They do everything consistently. We've got uh, central AC in the ceiling, central heat through the floor. Um, their Peninsula kitchen design right here is something that has just won them so many customers. As opposed to that little 45 degree pseudo kick out kitchen, this gives you awesome prep space. You get that extra chunk of dedicated prep space or appliance space because there are power outlets under that cabinet, by the way, so that you can have your toaster, your coffee maker. You can have electric griddle out here to, to make up just a whole mess of bacon and pancakes and eggs, in which case I'm coming to your place for breakfast, by the way. <coughs> um, the other thing is square L-shaped spaces are better for storage. They didn't waste an ounce of this cabinet space. And before you think, yeah, but I, I'm not going to crawl in there on my belly or, and, or you know, send my kids in there and pull them out by their feet to get to that storage. It's one of the beautiful, uh, beautiful, oh my God, I just turned into a Disney hillbilly. Um, beautiful parts of the passports here at Halitz. You don't have to. They give you easy access to everything. Not an ounce of space has gone to waste in this. Now, in the Grand Touring Series and the Elite's Passports uh, here at Halitz, we have a standard tri-fold hide-a-bed sleeper sofa, and that goes along with the uh, seven-foot-ish, it's just around seven foot, I haven't hard measured one in a while, full U-Dinette, and that's a deeper 42-inch dinette, that's a true full U-Dinette. A lot of brands have gone uh, to a smaller, shallow, more narrow dinette, so I guess you can call it a king and a queen U-Dinette now. This is the bigger king dinette. Folds down to a seven foot bed. Uh, you can easily sleep a couple kids here. An adult can sleep there, no problem. And they have added doors to the storage to get to that storage more easily. So if someone is sleeping there or if you have someone eating or whatever, you don't have to tear apart the entire dinette to get to the storage spaces. Um, so that's not just a skylight. That is also a ceiling vent up there. So if you want extra airflow and heat exhaust, 
the passports here at Haylitz, they have you covered. Now, the bathroom is just a bathroom. This is a function space, not a fashion space. I mean, they've done a good job of leaving nice open spaces where you can keep extra toilet paper and whatnot. Um, they have protective shower wall paneling. They have both a power vent fan and a skylight. So even though that light's turned off, it's still nice and bright and comfortable in here. I mean, you can see in here, no problem. You got to see a peek of me in that mirror, which I detest, but whatever. But you get the idea. Not fancy, but effective. Um, now, this is great. You want extra closet hanging space? You got it. You want extra pantry space? You got it. You need to adjust these shelves to kind of conform this to whatever your specific wants and needs are? You got it. I think you get the idea. But this back here is really the the, the business end of the Passport 3290 at Halet RV. This is that flexible set. I mean, really what it is is like, you've got a 14 foot long um, super slide in your living room. You got a big super slide living space. Well, instead of making the RV longer, back here they made it wider. So this is basically the same cubic foot of space as your living room, just sideways off the back of the trailer. So the primary function of this obviously is gonna be sleeping kids. But what's great is if you have four, five, six kids, this floor plan is the one that accommodates you because you got one, two, three, four, five, six independent sleeping spaces. These overhead bunks, by the way, are rated for 300 pounds. And this is a nice long slide. A longer adult, like I'm over six foot long. I can fully lay down in this without my head, my feet touching anything. These are bigger, deeper, longer slides. And you've got this whole storage entertainment wall back here. This is, and this is only 6,600 pounds, guys. That's what makes this floor plan just so deadly effective in the marketplace. The smaller an RV is, the less you need to worry about it being an ultralight. That's the ironic part. The bigger it is, the more it matters. Passport is the ultra-ist, light-ist of them all. <laughs> they do the most ultra-light of any ultra-light. So all kinds of dedicated storage for the kids. You want to throw a TV back here for rainy day entertainment? We've actually had this floor plan be very popular for traveling families, like military families, who maybe need to homeschool the kids. This is a daytime classroom that then converts into a rainy day living room, which then converts into your bedroom, kids. Go to sleep. And it works extremely well because it's so flexible. You want to turn this into to sofas, into lounges, into beds, into a combination. You want this bed to be storage. You want it to flip up out of the way. This bunk area, this bonus room, whatever you want to call it, can only do everything. And the thing is, it does it very well. It doesn't do anything poorly. And you've got another one of those heat exhausting vents back here. Even though you've got central air and heat, they still allow you to get good airflow coming through. So, looking forward, the uh, bedroom is also fully privatized because you have sliding doors, not curtains for this bedroom. Again, they spend smart money where it needs to be spent. So, the uh, TV for entertainment purposes. Because at some point, mom and dad, you guys gotta win too. It's not always about the kids. You can sit on this seat with your arm all the way against the wall, like I'm doing right now, and you still don't have to crane your neck around to be able to see the entertainment. There's not a bad seat in this house. And that, all it took was just a, a swing arm on the TV. And it amazes me how many brands still today don't do that. You know, they don't include a nice, easy viewing entertainment system. Because when the TV is flat like this, when you're shopping for a camper and you're standing in the middle, you're like, oh yeah, that's really nice. But then when you sit down, you realize you can't see the screen because you got to crane your neck sideways. You don't have to do that here. Again, smarter, smarter money went into this product. Um, they, they've just, they've only done everything that matters here and they've just absolutely nailed it. And that's where these guys are the best. There's lots of different lightweights. Again, we carry plenty of different ones out here and they all have awesome features. But these guys have... Uh, pushed forward as to having some of the best service records, as to having some of the smartest appointments. They have the lightest weights of any lightweight that we carry here at Halet RV. They also, uh, I mean, everything. Everything that you want out of an RV, they've done, and they've done well. Like, I like these full-length mirrored wardrobes right here so that you don't have the sharp corner to jab you. Um, both sides of the bed have a nice little stand. You do have power outlets on the bases of the bed, so if you want to plug in an alarm clock or CPAP, you can do that. And this is a big thing I like to talk about in passports, because a lot of people, they'll walk in, and I'll show them the rest of the camera, they're like, yeah, yeah, I like it. And then they see, oh, crap! My husband's six foot tall, and the bed goes all the way up to the wall. Nope, this camper won't work for me. Yes, it will in a passport because they have a full 80 inch true queen bed. I know the bed goes all the way up to the wall, but it's a full 80 inch bed. It's a longer mattress, so your feet aren't going to kick the wall. And frankly, if you're like seven foot tall, I'm sorry, 
the world's not fair, but no RV is going to fit you comfortably. You know, they just don't. Your feet probably hang off the bed at home. Um, it, it, that's just one of those unfortunate natures of the world is that these things are built for an average sized American. And, uh, you know, I know that we keep getting bigger, but that's part of the reason that passports have the bigger beds. And uh, nothing fits everyone 100% of the time, but this fits the most people. Case in point, Passport is the number one selling ultralight in North America for several years running now, guys. You're not crazy for liking this. They've done everything that matters. They've done it well. They've done it simply but effectively. Fancy where it could be, simple where it should be. That is the case closed story of the Keystone Passport here at Halid RV. So if that sounds good to you guys, if a huge, huge, triple deep slide ultralight bunkhouse that is half ton towable at only 60, well, less than 6,600 pounds. Sounds attractive to you. Protected long term with a nice three year <laughs> structural warranty. Well, you found it. And if what you're looking for is a place that'll take care of you, you've already found that because I just spent close to 16 minutes telling you all about this critter. And there's plenty more to learn for sure. But imagine what we'll do when you actually give us a chance to meet you. There's no such thing as being too far away to work with Halid RV. All you need to do is give us a call. The number here is 800 256 5196. Uh, you know, we've, we're the largest independent dealer in the state of Michigan. That's not an accident. Superior products like this are a big chunk of that, but there's more than one place that sells a passport. There's more than one place that has good prices. Obviously our service is making the difference to keep us up there that many consecutive years. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.